How's it going guys? Brian back here with a, another bone update. Alright, I haven't been doing a whole lot of bone videos of lately. Uh, just been waiting for some price movement here, okay? You can see right here, I mean nothing major is going on in here, okay? If I take a measurement of this thing, you know, it's been up and down, you know, in this zone roughly 20 percent you know just bouncing up and down here you know we have this falling wedge forming obviously and i want to show you because the last time before this thing had this massive run up here we also had a falling wedge forming over on this side okay right over here we had this wedge forming up okay um Obviously, it ended up breaking to the upside. Also, falling wedges tend to break to the upside. It's roughly like 80% of the time. All right, you can see this thing up, just beat down, beat down, and then finally it took off. Okay, it was in this, uh, it was in this pattern roughly. Let's get a measurement here. Your date range. You know, this thing started, you know, it was in this thing for two months, all right? We're going on right now, beginning of this thing, to where we're at, you know, 52 days. So, we're getting there, okay? The tighter these things wind up, the closer they get to the breakout, okay? So, that's one good thing, the tighter this thing gets the closer we are to the breakout all right you have these fake outs you can see it went out of the price action here you you have fake outs to the downside you can have them to the upside it doesn't matter okay eventually this thing is going to head up all right um i don't know how many times i can say that i know you guys are getting sick of hearing it i'm getting sick of saying it to be honest and uh i just been uh I apologize also I caught a cold I work in the medical field I'm around a lot of sick people and uh, unfortunately I caught a cold from somebody so kind of dealing with that right now so I apologize but these falling wedges you know that's how they work they break to the upside okay if you look up at falling wedge formation all right even though it is a falling wedge pattern bullish Falling wedge is a bullish pattern, okay? Uh, how do you play? What is the wedge pattern? Or the, what is the falling wedge pattern? How reliable is a falling wedge? All right. Uh, some studies suggest that a wedge pattern will break out towards a reversal, a bullish breakout for falling wedges, and a bearish breakout for rising wedges. More often than two-thirds of the time, with a falling wedge being a more reliable indicator than a rising wedge, okay? So, it, uh, why should I buy falling wedge patterns? It indicates traders take long positions in the market. Traders using a falling wedge pattern should buy as soon as the price breaks above the upper converging trend line with a stop loss at the bottom of the falling wedge. Typically, the price targets are equal to the height of the back of the wedge. We went over that. We measured this thing out. The back of the wedge. You take a measurement. You put it on the breakout area. And that's usually your first target. Okay. And then after that, then you go to your next, uh, next target up. But, uh, you know, you can see this one here. If we take a measurement of it. You know, its first move was right up here. Look how that lined up. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. If you put a horizontal line on that, you can see it fizzled out a little bit right there. Let's make it a little smaller so you can see that. But look at that. Worked out perfectly. Went up to this level, had a pullback, and then continued. All right. So. It's not that I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I've been looking at these charts for years and years and years and years. Falling wedges, you know, most of the time, if you just if you just had falling wedges in crypto, 
and you just uh, went long on just falling wedges, you know, not financial advice, but uh, you'd make a fortune. If you just traded falling wedge patterns, okay, two thirds of the time, you just read it, you know, 80% of the time, falling wedges break to the upside. So you would win two thirds of your, um, you know, of your uh, trades, and uh, obviously you would be in the green, okay? So last time before this breakout, we had a falling wedge. We're having another one now. These are the times that, that, that determine, you know, the winners from the losers in this market. You know, you got to be able to uh, withstand these, these times. It gets frustrating. You want to quit. You, you're saying, oh, the hell with this. I'm selling this. You know, and right when you do, boom, it goes. You know, that it, uh, it just happens that way in crypto. You know, you can see a head and shoulders right here, too. Look at that head and shoulders and the breakdown. You know how you measure them. You take a uh, you know, measurement of the neckline and the neckline. And you put that on the bottom there. Look at that, how they work out perfectly. Measure them out. But anyway, that's just a little thing there. And if you haven't checked out my trading videos, guys, $14.99 to get you seven hours worth of videos. A level three membership. Um, you know, if this breaks out, go buy go go buy them. You know, do me a favor for all this beating I've been taking here. Uh, you know, go sign up for them or just become a member for $0.99 cents a month, you know. Uh, it helps out a lot, okay. Um, obviously, I'm not making a, uh, it's not like I'm making a fortune covering bone, okay. I, I hold some of it, um, you know, if I, uh, if I didn't want to take a beating from the trolls, then I just wouldn't even cover it. I'd just hold it and, uh, and wait for my breakout and ride it. But I'm trying to do my best to, uh, you know, to give you guys confidence out there. And not only that, you know, I'm sticking by this. I said I was going to stick by this coin. I'm sticking by it, okay? Um, I'm still calling for that breakout. Let's take a look at some more SIs. First off, let's take a look at volume. All right, let's move over here. Volume is up 11.2% at $10,678,000. $147 million market cap, extremely low. Number 181. So uh, lots of tons of potential for this. Look at this. Bone, this is rubbish. I feel like crying. Worst investment ever. Uh, I have been holding this shit for two years now. Well, Nicholas, you know, you're you're gonna sell and uh, you're gonna regret the, you're gonna regret that bone will rise or fall tell me why below bearish when we think bone might spike up for profits it just goes back down something fishy going on here see that when you start seeing bearish stuff like that um, that's usually I'm holding on tightly to my bone it looks like we are only 24 hours into a possible trend reversal but Shibarium has experienced a massive increase in activity as reported by Shibarium scan. Um, bone, one MF day, I'll be rich as hell. Dips are chances to get in unless you've been bought in. If you've been bought, then DCA will be great. Dollar cost averaging will be great. Or GTFO, it's cool. Bone, lol, dumps when Bitcoin dumps, but don't go up with Bitcoin fools. See, I like seeing bearish stuff. I'm bullish on bone. Eventually, it will fly. You will regret it if you sell. You know, I totally agree with that. But you're starting to get some people that are look at this, the the old uh, poop emoji there. Bone, huh. that's all right. Bone, don't want to say it. I told you so, but I told you so. All right. Remember that uh, van damage. The problem with Shibarium was using this crap bone and not sticking with Shiba. It would have been perfect, guys. Open your eyes. See all the money they've... Yeah. All right. Well, hey, man. The more bearish stuff we see, the better. Okay? That's when the thing goes. 
right? It beats you down, beats you down, just keeps going, you know, over drop, over drop, over drop, all right? And then eventually, boom, see you later, it's gone. That's what's going to happen with this thing. I, 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 I see it coming, I see it happening, all right? If we go out in a weekly, I was looking at some possible lows here, all right? You got one down, you know, where it could, it could come down to that level yet, okay? Down at, uh, what is that, 62 cents, you know, that, uh, that was the low back here back in November of 2022, about a year ago, right before it started that massive run up here. All right, so it did get down to them levels before it shot up. And you can see every single time it's gotten to these lower levels, boom. Lower levels, boom. Lower levels, we're just waiting for the boom, okay? And, uh, you know, it can just, it'll, it'll test you. And it, that's just plain and simple. These, this market will test you. I've been in it for years now. I know. I know. I know what it does to you. I know how bad it, it sucks. You want uh, crypto, you know, it, a lot of people just uh, think it's a get-rich-quick scheme. The, the hardest part is, is hanging in there, holding on, you know. Uh, having belief that uh, that things are going to work out, you know that that's the hardest part of this. Just holding on, you know, because you get frustrated. You get you, you're looking at your wallet. And you're like, oh my god, it's down to uh, 63 cents. I bought it way up here at 93. I'm out. I'm out of here. You know, don't you? Know, not financial advice, guys. Uh, you do what you want. Okay, it's your life, your money. You do what you want, okay? Um, who knows? Maybe I'll turn into a total fool and this thing will go to zero. Um, you never know 100% for sure. But, uh, you know, my experience tells me hang in there. Falling wedges will eventually break out. It's just been a ride down here. And it's, it's just been brutal, okay? Like I said, the last, what is it, 50 days now, okay? I, uh... So let's take a look at these RSIs. We got the daily. This is the big one. Just about reset. All right. This thing's about at the bottom. By the end of the week here, this thing should be down here. Down here, reset, ready to turn back up. And that could be our, our, uh, our time, to, uh, time to shine here, okay? You want your blue on the outside. That's bullish. Your orange on the outside is bearish, so who knows? Maybe that'll be the time this thing finally takes off. We've been waiting for this daily to get to the bottom now for a while, and uh, it's just about there. Okay, so that's good to see. Last time the daily did get to the bottom, it just had this little tiny run here. The time before it went from uh, 70 cents up to 82, all right? Then the time before that, it went from 77 to 93. All right, but we're waiting for the big one. We want the big breakout here. The weekly, there, it's still at the bottom. Just still at the bottom, just waiting. All right, these big moves happen. Every single time these match up, you know, big move up, big move up, big move up, big move up. Big move up on the RSI, big move up on price, okay? They all line up. The 12-hour RSI, right down near the bottom, looks like uh, could be flipping over to come back down to meet the daily. I'd love to see all these at the bottom, right when the daily gets to the bottom. That would be perfect. The 8-hour, same thing, rolling over, probably heading down. It's um, quite honestly, it's probably coming down to 62 cents. The four hour, same thing, rolling over right now. Okay, so m my personal opinion, I think we're coming down here, right down to this level, the 62 cents. I think that's the bottom. All these RSIs, you'll have your daily, your daily will be back down here at the bottom. Okay, reset. You'll have your 12 hour down at the bottom here, reset. You'll have your eight hour 
reset and all these RSIs should line up and uh, and maybe we'll finally get out of here okay so we're getting there it uh, the deeper we go the closer we are to this being over okay so hang in there I know it's tough guys go ahead uh, you know just uh, just just be nice okay in the comments that that's what frustrates me about doing the videos because I I cannot help time I cannot change I you know if I could say break out right now break out right now you know that's I would love that to happen right now okay but I just don't know that's the hardest thing about this if I knew that I would uh, I wouldn't be doing videos I'd be counting my stacks of money right now so um, it's it's a waiting game it's it's just a waiting game all right when it finally hits bottom and it looks like we're getting there if you go out here on the monthly and look at the lows okay right down here that 62 cents matches up over here all right and uh, there is one more down there at 60 cents right down there I uh, I don't think we'll get that low but I think 62 cents is probably coming you know probably 62 cents on the dot there all right so um, all right guys thank you so very very much please hit the like and subscribe all right uh, and uh, and hang in there with me we're in this together I'm not uh, I'm not doing these videos just to get beat up okay I've had people asking me to put a bone video out so I'm getting it out there once we get back in this wedge and start getting up to this other side when we get right to this area right here all right that's when it's going to start getting exciting because that's the possible breakout area all right you should have a big green candle up a pullback to retest the breakout and then a shot up okay that's what we're hoping is happening all right nothing is 100 percent guaranteed in life especially with charts but uh i'll take my chances 80 percent chance it breaks up two-thirds all right so uh my bet is on uh um you know a little bit more of a beat down here a little bit more people selling uh you can see here there was 1.39 million selling yesterday 1.3 million bought you know you're gonna see a lot more red than that goes and then you got people once it breaks out up here and retest then you got a bunch more people buying in buying higher you know then it will shoot higher up pull back you know these people end up buying back in as price goes up and uh, when they should have just stayed in down here and held it out you know and if you're that worried about it set a set a uh, a stop loss on it okay if you're that worried about it that this thing is going to go uh a lot deeper or whatever then set a stop loss you know and uh i i can't tell you what to do with your money but uh i would say the line in the sand as far as going down is right there at 60 cents okay i i just don't uh i don't see it going lower than that then you have one down at 56 I'm just marking these out. I'm not saying it's going there at all. Then you have one down at uh, 54. All right, we're not going to them levels. I'm, I'm sure of that. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great night. And uh, hopefully next time I do a video here within the next couple days, we're getting back up towards uh, this upper level up in the 70-some cent range, okay? And it could happen fast. It really could. It could happen fa fast. It all depends. The market cap on this thing is tiny. Uh, 147 million. Doesn't take a lot of money to move this thing. All right, but it's going to happen when everybody's beat down, depressed. You know, right? Like now. So, have a great night, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.